Basically, it's a living hell every day coming to work uh, with Graham and Joel. <laughs> I'll tell you guys how crazy this too is all Coach Harold and Coach Filani, uh, they're funny. <laughs> and a lot of laughing, a lot of joking going on. Mike, how'd you roll your ankle today? It's embarrassing, Mike. Oh, wait, yeah, nobody was around you. Proud of West Texas. You embarrassing West Texas. It really brings the energy up on the practice field and out there on the game. Well, they're like brothers. They've, they've been together for so long. Uh, they have great chemistry. They understand the same language of each other. And they've played in the system together, uh, especially being a wide receiver and a quarterback. On first and 10, Harrell throwing deep, center of the field. Caught, Joe Filani in bear territory at the 40, carrying the defender to the 20, breaks the tackle. Nothing's changed, you know. If they put some pads on, they know exactly where they'd be. Just translate over to how their coaching styles are. They know exactly what, you know, what the other's going to say. Quarterback between a receiver, I mean, it's it's all about trust. You got to trust your guy to be in the right spot. He's got to trust you to put the ball in the right spot and on time. Once you kind of start playing together, I mean, you just become closer because you have to you have to lean on each other and trust each other. And it's probably the summer of '04 is when I got to Tech. He would have already been there. Neither one of us had had done anything, so <laughs> no. we were probably both in the bad either. group that summer. <laughs> I don't know. We were there together three years. We finally had a year where we actually were. We're playing together. What would have been when we got our closest? We had a great time there. Had a lot of great games, and uh, G was a young puff at the helm of that, getting that done. So Joe Filani's got it. He's the best quarterback. He's the best quarterback. When you see them together, that's what you see. You see two teammates that have been in a lot of games together, been in a lot of heated situations together. They just understand each other. They have an understanding of one another, what each other's thinking. Um, how they act. I mean, they're they're literally like brothers. You know, we kind of ran practices together and, and developed our chemistry on the field, and you know, and it leads to friendship and chemistry off the field as well. So we talked a little bit when I got out of tech for a little bit. I got to leave the field farting around, and then we just kind of didn't talk for a while. It was probably some years that it went by, probably four or five years didn't go by. Nobody said that, so you know, G's always hard to get a hold of. Grandma was getting a lot of opportunities, but I think we all had opportunities to go places. You know, and I had, we, we had bonded and got connected, and I'm like, man, you know, I'd love the situation where we could ride together and kind of do things, and you know, and when this opportunity came up, you know, I was fortunate enough that he, he brought me with him and, and, and Seth as well, and so it's, for me, the dynamic with, with the work is, it's, uh, it's easy, like I so said, that's how I would describe it. And we're blessed to have both of them. You know, they're both great teammates. Uh, they both work extremely hard, got great personalities, and that's one thing that I feel most blessed uh, about being a head coach is we have great chemistry in the staff, and I think that carries over to our players, and I feel like that's why uh, we have great chemistry with our players as well. Graham is, he is the ultimate competitor. That's just who he is to his core. He doesn't know how to do anything half-hearted. If he does something, it's all in. We gotta be able to match that, and it starts in practice. The biggest thing I like about Graham, I always talk about he's very disciplined. He's disciplined the way he's disciplined the way he goes about business, disciplined the way he he does things. And so that's always, it's a, it's a trait that you respect and that, you, that people like to follow. Graham, in between the white lines, you know, he, he's a little bit rough on us and outside of the white lines, he's he's a great friend. Harold's a little more, maybe like nitpicky. Like he, he, wants, he wants more perfection. He doesn't want you to mess up. Like he's not gonna accept it as much. You gotta go out there and say we're gonna dominate physically. We said that. Guess what didn't happen? On the field, he'll dog you, he'll get on you. He'll say some things. You know, you just gotta be able to brush it off and keep on focus. Still has a great personality. Always ready to make fun of somebody. Negative! Yes! He's gonna run his mouth. He's gonna talk a lot of trash. He's gonna do what he does. But like I said, he's he's always in a, in a position where, like I said, he's leading somebody. Joe doesn't like to be held accountable. He's really, when he says, run my mouth. You know, we're doing the same way in the weight room. That's embarrassing on his part. What's up? I can throw weight around. Don't, don't, don't get it twisted. Joel came to Washington State looking like uh, an old lineman. You don't believe that. You see, don't and, believe that. Don't believe that. Uh, and then I hold him accountable, and he wants to get mad at me and say, that's me running my mouth. There's a difference. Don't get it twisted. We know how to work together, so like I said, no one gets sensitive. He runs his mouth, I run my mouth. It works well together. I got no games to play. I'm out here looking sexy like I always do. What's, what's the problem? I probably spend more time with Graham and Joel than anybody. There's never a dull moment whenever you're with them. They're always constantly going at each other, and that's just that's their nature. They're competitive guys. Don't get it twisted. Joel is just as competitive as Graham, but you know he's a typical receiver. They're gonna joke around, and but when it's time to go, Joel knows when it's time to go. He incorporates and sees the game and coaches the game kind of from a player's point of view, which which absolutely helps. You know, when it's go time, he can he can turn up. Let's go! When he tells you to do something, he's not. That's not something that he heard. Or someone told him. That's something that he experienced, and he figured out that that's actually what worked for him. 
Coach Falani, he was a big receiver, big 230 and, and all that kind of stuff. So he's running around the field, tossing everybody around, big boy and everybody. And so that kind of mentality, that's what he coaches with is like, you know, like get big, like boss up. That's the mentality he played with and, and he coaches with. He's not like a help you get live coach. He's like a, I'm live and y'all are just gonna have to get live with me or else it's gonna be a problem. We're gonna play all game. Come down, play press all game. We don't win, we're long ass game. That makes sense. You know, we gotta put stress in our guys throughout the week so they feel more comfortable and they've been in some of those stressful situations and adverse situations on the weekend. I felt like more before it was just like, if you were caught the ball, that's good, you know, when, with our old coaches. But now you could catch the ball and they'll still yell at you when you come back because if you didn't run the route exactly how they want you to. On third down, somebody's got to step up and make a play. But at the same time, you got to have fun with these guys. They got to see you, um, you know, being able to be loose. And I think this comes from Leach more than anyone is in order for, for, for your guys to play the best, one, they got to have fun, and two, they got to be loose. Because if they're uptight, um, worried about messing up, worried about this or that, uh, they're going to be thinking and not playing loose. They both have deep understanding of this offense and what we're trying to accomplish. Our mindsets are very similar. We're, we both are attacking and, and know, how to, know what we want to see and know how to get there. And so we know how to get the kids to get there. And so it's not a situation where we're, we're really on the same page as far as what we want to see. They both end up being all conference and all Americans and having those accolades together and the fact that they're so young, they can relate to our players much better, you know. They know what these kids are going through. They understand uh, the demands that they're, they're being asked of them. Now it's, you know, our chance to try and help these kids go through it just like we did. I mean, it's getting out of hand. They're even dressed the same. UNT is more than a place. We are a community of dreamers and doers. Here, knowledge grows. Ideas become discoveries and opportunities are boundless. We ask questions and seek answers. We push boundaries and expand minds. We defy expectations and pursue excellence. A tier one research university, UNT innovates for a brighter tomorrow. We are the path to success. We are UNT. I absolutely love um, doing community service. People think it's, it's, a, it's a chore, uh, but when you talk to most everyone that, that would do a community service project, uh, they would say that they got out of it so much more than they were giving. Going and packing a few food bags and, and helping organize the food bank, you were helping somebody that could survive because of what they were providing, uh, which was a fantastic opportunity. I am and always will be all day CUSA. Set the standard of how we play in our house. All three phases for four quarters. Everybody understand that? Yes, sir. Fist fight. Love it. Go knock their ass out. It's time. Set the standard. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Hey. And the Mean Green make their entrance at Apogee Stadium. White helmets today. There's the swooping eagle logo in red, white, and blue. In honor of the visit by the Black Knights of the Hudson, who now come on, they will take on an Army team that much of the year has led the nation. Round three, and we gonna get it. We going out tonight, baby. And Kelvin Smith is slot left. The handoff coming left. Jeffrey Wilson, no room, reverses field. Five now darts up the middle and in for a touchdown. Jeffrey Wilson started left. Hey, we can't throw it. He went outside, so I didn't push him out. He said he, he said I gotta get his outside shoulder. First and goal, far hash at the one. Bradshaw under center. Davidson is the fullback. Quarterback sneak. Davidson helps push Bradshaw into the end zone. Touchdown. I know. Here's what they're doing. He goes like All they're doing is just zone blocking. And what's happened on the two runs they got on the perimeter, they got our nine technique reached. So then what's happening is they're reaching the nine technique, and then the slide back is able to get up on you. And it's getting you cut off. And so then we're short of guys. He come out twice. Hey, Wyden. That's what I was going to tell you. Wyden. Okay, because you guys are getting right down the middle. Because I know you're worried about getting hands on them. We got to widen because what happens is as soon as they get you reach, then they're able to just climb to the next level, okay? So, Army territory on possession number two. As Fine fakes the handoff, rolls right, looks up, throws deep, caught Turner, Smiley inside the 10 to the 5, touchdown! Hey, hey! What are you talking about, man? 
He got wins across the field. He went in front of him, though. Yeah. I saw it. You know how that guy played way off? And it's finally just cut underneath him. So I knew it was going to be more of a strike. He made a play on it. It was good. Seen it tonight. You know? You got to let the old guy have one, you know, every once in a while. All right, hey, don't lose focus. Stay locked in. We got to score every time we get to football. Put pressure back on them. Make them play from behind. You got me? All right, guys. Let's go. On fourth and 11. They are 65% converting fourth down. Holt lines up as the fullback. They're going to throw again. And Bradshaw goes deep, overthrows a Jekyll inside the. Yeah. It's all good, baby. Let's go. High snap, and he brings it down. And it is a better punt, and it backs Reynolds up, and he bobbles a fair catch. It is loose and recovered at the seven yard line by North Texas. Let's go! Let's go! He got nothing for us, though! Johnson shifts to finds right, takes the handoff, slices left, gets inside the five, breaks tackles, stays on his feet all the way to the end zone. Jeffrey Wilson. Let's go. Yeah. We loud. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we here. Cooper in motion. And Bradshaw will option left to turn the corner. 10 5 touchdown. Muffed punt. They misfire on an extra point snap. And a low wobbling kick returned by Johnson. 10, 20, 30. Look out. Needs a block. Gets it. 40, 50. Cuts it back inside the 35 and dropped at the 33-yard line. A big return for Evan Johnson. Let's go, E. I want to I'm slow. Yeah, I'm just ah! slow. I got to work in the summer get that speed up. I'm going to get that speed up. I don't know where. to add to a 21-13 lead, 7-17 before halftime. Find the snap. Throws the fade to the end zone for Guyton. Brought it in. Touchdown! Right side of the end zone, Jalen Guyton. That's the ass though! That's the ass though! Yes, baby! Oh, yeah. Too easy. Oh, yeah. Too easy. Too easy. Yes! Yes! I've been finally set to go. Fine stays in the pistol. Smith, the running back. Play action fake, and Mason will scramble to his right. And look up field, throw into a crowd, caught and blasted at the 20 yard line. Flags on what will probably be a targeting call. Guyton being helped up and flops right back onto the turf. Jalen Guyton made the catch, miraculously held on as Ryan England unloaded on him. You can hear the clacking of the helmets up here five levels high. England After definitely review, led with the head. There is no foul for targeting. Incomplete pass. Second down. Cannot believe they did not toss Ryan England from the game. Textbook targeting. Lowered his helmet to go helmet to helmet against Guy. Hand off Wolfolk. Brought down to the 16 and the clock will run out for 15 seconds of this first half. Black Knights getting booed as they leave the field at Apogee Stadium. After a dirty hit goes unpunished. I absolutely love um, doing community service. People think it's it's a it's a chore, uh, but when you talk to most everyone that that would do a community service project, uh, they would say that they got out of it so much more than they were giving. Going and packing a few food bags and and helping organize the food bank, you were helping somebody that could survive because of what they were providing, uh, which was a fantastic opportunity. I am and always will be all day CUSA. UNT is more than a place. We are a community of dreamers and doers. Here, knowledge grows. Ideas become discoveries and opportunities are boundless. We ask questions and seek answers. We push boundaries and expand minds. We defy expectations and pursue excellence. A tier one research university, UNT innovates for a brighter tomorrow. We are the path to success. We are UNT. In the classroom, we are committed. In the community, we are uplifting. In athletics, we are strong. And on our campuses, we are accepting. Dynamic, diverse, determined, 
This is who we want to be, on and off the field. In our everyday lives, we are All Day CUSA. And together, we are Conference USA. Listen up, man. Hey, real quick. Uh, pretty good half. If you execute well, we got to finish, all right? It's chippy. I understand that. They're probably running their mouth. Was that a cheap shot? Probably. Who cares? We got to play the next play. Stay disciplined. We got to be the most disciplined team. That's who we are. That's who we are. Be disciplined, all right? And keep doing what you're doing. All right, man, this is exactly what we prepared for. We prepared for a dogfight, right? Is that, is that not what we pre prepared for all week? Yes, sir. All right, good. We own the second half. We come out, we're going to own the third quarter. We're going to start fast in this third quarter. All right, we're going to play our best second half. We're going to play our best second half. Hey, men, don't get wrapped up. Kick their ass in between the whistles. Wear their ass out. That's, there's a reason why they're doing that. They're getting their ass kicked on defense. That's what they're getting. Continue to execute. Continue to do your job. The man to the left and the right, hold yourself accountable. Let's go play our, our, our best half. Let's own this second half. You got me? Let's go wear their ass out, man. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go, man. Let's go, man. Let's go, man. Let's go, Texas trying to uh, win the rubber game of three matches in 13 months with Army. They lead 28-20. We get set to start the second half. Snap back for Bradshaw. Fakes the handoff. Toss Cooper. Turns the corner at the 10, at the 5. Angles for the end zone, and he's in. Touchdown. They're America's future defenders of democracy and all, but right now they're just college football players with some dirty actions on the field. First down, Mean Green, 47. And Fine looks left, now rolls right. Pumps, fakes, wants to throw it deep, has a man! Caught inside the 10, down to the five yard line is Lawrence! What a hose by Mason Fine. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! From the near hash on third and goal. Eight yard line, Wilson defines left. Smiley Lawrence wide right, Fine wants to throw the fade, instead looks over the middle, wide open, touchdown Lawrence! Not the original look for Fine. Let's go! That's what we Let's go! Whoa! Power set, no wide out. And the handoff, Davidson into the end zone easily, touchdown. The only thing that will make it better uh -huh. is for some receiver, it doesn't really matter, to shred Ryan England <laughs> for the game-winning touchdown. Oh, no, let's make some say. Wilson Smiley right, Bussy left. Play action fake. Fine. Steps up. Throws deep over the middle. He has Smiley! 2010 touchdown! Turner Smiley shredding! So Army after the timeout, needing six on third down from the 29, a minute 57. Bradshaw under center, Davidson in, at fullback, play action fake, he's going to throw for just the third time all night, and he floats it, caught, trainer inside the five, first and goal. They will take the snap with the clock under 90 seconds remaining on the one yard line, first and goal, Bradshaw will give it to Davidson. And between center and right guard, he is in for a touchdown. 49-49 tie. You can almost feel this stadium take a collective deep breath between plays. Well, under 30 seconds remaining. Smith shifts to his right. Snap at 26 seconds. And fine. Steps up. Fires complete at the 45 of Army. Goes Bussy. Upended inside the 40 at the 38 with 19 seconds. So fine. Has the snap and throws near sideline. Caught out of bounds. At the 22-yard line is Turner Smiley with nine seconds remaining. As Straub Mueller will snap to Shanbor to put it down for Trevor Moore from 39 yards out. Good snap and hold. Kick is on the way. Kick is good. Flags are down. The main green starts celebrating. This is apparently more. Flags on Army, 52-49 with five seconds remaining. He didn't say who was guilty, let's just assume it must have been Ryan England. Well, either way, Army has committed a number of mistakes in the penalty category. North Texas has pretty much had an unblemished game. The Bean Green, knockoff Army, 52-49 in one of the best college football games you will ever see.
I'm proud of y'all. I'm proud of you the way y'all continue to persevere. You didn't allow them to take away from our mission. At the end of the day, we accomplished our mission on being undefeated at home. So you set a standard. Senior group, stand up. You yeah. set a legacy tonight. Yeah. That's the standard. That's how we play at our house. No one comes in our house, all right? No one's going to take anything from us in our house. Y'all played together. It took all three phases, and y'all fought a damn dog fight. And I'm proud of the way y'all stick together. More than anything, I'm proud of our chemistry, man. We have each other's back, no matter what. You keep doing the things that we're doing, we're going to look up when it's all said and done, and you're going to have left a hell of a legacy here of how we play here in New Denton competing for championships, undefeated at home. We still have a lot left to play for, and, but enjoy this, man. Enjoy this one tonight. We're gonna keep this train rolling. We're not gonna finish until we finish it all out. Baby, let's go. Yes, yeah. 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 Hey, man, 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 let's go. Hey, hey you're gonna me on three. One, two, three. Me, me, me. Me. UNT is more than a place. We are a community of dreamers and doers. Here, knowledge grows, ideas become discoveries, and opportunities are boundless. We ask questions and seek answers. We push boundaries and expand minds. We defy expectations and pursue excellence. A Tier 1 research university, UNT innovates for a brighter tomorrow. We are the path to success. We are UNT. We're really committed to the growth of the individual in a team environment. We love community service, just helping out the community. I was fortunate enough to get athletic and academic aid, so um, it just opened up so many doors for me, and I'm very grateful for it. My name is Victoria Junius. Thanks to North Texas and Conference USA, I am and will always be all day CUSA. Well, the program is, I mean, it's a group of military personnel that come in and they work with teams all over the country. With their jobs, if someone doesn't do their job right, then lives are lost. If you're looking at examples, these guys are the example of being selfless, tough, and disciplined. That's what we've drawn those three core values from. We've been using them. I have been uh, with them now since uh, my days back in Indiana. It's tough. It's both physically and mentally challenging. And it's just, what it's doing is just creating better team leaders and better teammates. My teammates and I at the program know that everybody's a hero when it's 70 degrees and sunny and there's a slight breeze blowing in off the coast. Unfortunately, that's not when you need them. You need great team leaders and great teammates when it's not. The environment that we provide to student athletes is an environment where it is not 70 degrees and sunny in an environment where they are then able to develop, not learn, but develop their skills as leaders and teammates. It's really team building, discipline, and it's all mental. None of this was physical exercise. It was just to test your teammates, see how much you can trust the guy next to you. So obviously we've done the program for two years, and honestly the first year I don't think people bought into it. They, they had four quarters and an overtime set up for us and we didn't even get through the first quarter. And you know, that's, that's really embarrassing to be quite honest. This year whenever they came in, the first day was the, like the military stuff, and then the second day we did the, I think it's called the House of Pain. They put us in a circle and torture us until we figure out a way to you know, get out of the House of Pain. Either you're going to become a team and you're going to do this together or you're going to fail. And we're going to continue to do this over and over until you guys make the decision to want to actually come close together, actually come up with a solution to accomplish whatever mission or whatever task that we present to you. Nobody from the outside can change a team's culture. What the program tries to do is help the coaching staff change the culture. Our coaching staff and myself, we get as much out of it as the players do. What does it truly mean to be a leader? You know, I think sometimes that word's tossed around way too much. There's going to be leaders on your team. Are they good leaders or are they bad leaders? Uh, and all the leadership is thus is influence. So there's a lot of guys on this team with influence, and uh, are we using that influence in a positive direction? 
I think the program did a lot for us this year because it set a standard for what we need to do and how to attack every single day. After the program, the next couple of weeks of workouts were phenomenal and that carried into fall camp and now it's carried into the season. With the success we've been having this year, becoming bowl eligible, uh, making it to the conference championship, all of that uh, is what kind of people see on the outside. Specifically, you, you can see that with the Army game, but it's been plenty of other games, whether uh, it be the Louisiana Tech game where the defense had to get a stop, the UTSA game, the drive. We've been in some, a lot of close games this year, and I do think us being tough has helped us, but also the mental aspect and not breaking. That show uh, our resiliency just throughout the team, and that's pretty much has been the mindset. No matter what situation we've been in, we just know we're going to win this game. Another week, another W. Good old Amateur Stadium. Coming at you next week when we play Rice. We're coming at you when we play this conference championship too.